The average human male measures about 5 feet and 9 inches tall. It only takes a few inches to stand out from the pack, with relatively few men crossing the threshold above 6 feet, let alone 7 feet. So imagine being Sultan Kosin of Turkey, the tallest living man, who measures an astounding 8 feet and 3 inches tall. Sultan was born on December 10, 1982, but he didn't start his incredible growth spurt until he was 10 years old. The rest of his family, including his parents and four siblings, are all average size. Sultan's unique growth and massive height is caused by a condition known as pituitary gigantic gigantism, which is the result of an overproduction of growth hormones. When the pituitary gland is damaged or otherwise affected, it will churn out growth chemicals at an alarming rate. This was the case for Kosin, and he started to notice abnormalities like huge hands and feet. Unfortunately, Kosin's size prevented him from completing school. He simply couldn't fit into the spaces designated for normal children. However, in his remote village, money was scarce, and Kosin began working as a farmer to support his family. He previously described one of the advantages of being tall as being able to help his mother out with jobs such as changing a broken light bulb and hanging curtains. As for the disadvantages to his height, he complained about not being able to find shoes or clothes that fit, and finding it extremely hard to fit into a regular size car. But Kosin glossed right over another serious side effect of the ailment. While 80% of gigantism can be cured with a simple surgery, if it goes untreated, it leads to serious health issues, including muscular pains and often premature death. The average lifespan of an individual with pituitary gigantism is a full 20 years shorter than the average human lifespan. In this case, Kosin's fame helped him overcome this health adversity. He became extremely famous after being spotted in Ankara, Turkey, and eventually got recognition from the Guinness Book of World Records as the tallest man in the world. From here, he received revolutionary gamma knife surgery on the tumor affecting his pituitary gland, provided by the University of Virginia in August 2010, which finally halted Sultan's production of growth hormone and stopped him from getting any taller. Sultan also holds the record for largest hands on a living person, each one measuring 11.22 inches from the wrist to the tip of the middle finger. He previously held the record for largest feet on a living person, with his left foot measuring 1 foot 2 inches and right foot measuring 1 foot 3 inches, and Kosin was never shy about what he really wanted most in life. During his first ever visit to London in September 2009, Sultan expressed hope that his newfound fame would change his life and help him find a wife. It's really difficult to find a girlfriend, they're usually scared of me. Hopefully now that I'm famous I'll be able to meet lots of girls. My dream is to be married. And yet again Kosin's fame worked to his advantage. In October 2013 he finally fulfilled his dream of getting married. Sultan and Merve Debo, who is 9 years his junior and just 5 feet 9 inches tall, met through a mutual friend. Merve traveled traveled from her home of Asaki in Syria to his village Dedekoy in Turkey to meet him. They were married two months later. The couple enjoyed a full wedding party after the ceremony, with over 1,500 guests, including a representative from Guinness World Records and local dignitaries. After the wedding, the happy couple headed back to their specially designed home in Dedekoy, where they hope to bring up children in the future. It seems that Kosin has accomplished his two biggest goals, to receive life-saving surgery and find a loving wife. As for his occupation, Kosin's farming days are behind him, and he has used his minor celebrity to land a number of roles in Hollywood movies. In addition, he has spent much of his last few years touring the Indian Ocean with the Magic Circus of Samoa. He continues to use his size to his advantage and will likely tour for much of his adult life. The next tallest living man is Moroccan-born Brahim Takiula, who is a comparable 8 feet and 1 inch tall. He's also the man who robbed Kosin of his record for the world's largest feet. The 29-year-old who currently lives in Paris, France, has a left foot measuring 1 foot 3 inches in length, while his right measures 1 foot 4 inches. Brahim, who grew up in a small Moroccan village, had a massive growth spurt during his teens, which saw him grow 3 feet in just 1 year. However, no one thought to investigate his unusual size until he was 18. Five years ago, a French doctor brought him to Paris for treatment, but first he decided to finish his university studies in geography. He contacted Guinness World Records himself to challenge for the record, and says he is proud to have it recognized, though daily life is not without its problems. Brahim cannot stand up straight in the small flat he shares with his mother in the Paris suburbs, has difficulty getting into a taxi or train, and can never move around without attracting attention. He nevertheless remains good-humored about his situation, and is happy to pose for pictures with members of the public, and politely answer questions about his condition. He hopes one day to have a specially built car he could drive himself, but for now even getting a pair of shoes stretches his budget. He takes a European size 58, which no shop has ever stocked. Unlike Kosin, Brahim has still not received his life-saving surgery and continues to grow due to the same pituitary disorder. It is entirely possible that Brahim could overtake Kosin during his lifetime, though if he doesn't receive the surgery soon, he may not have long to live. Both of these individuals would dwarf the average human, but neither of them is even close to the size of the tallest man in recorded history. That title belongs to American Robert Wadley also known as the Alton Giant and the Giant of Illinois. Wadlow reached 8 feet and 11.1 inches in height and weighed 439 pounds at his death at age 22. His great size and his continued growth in adulthood were due to hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, which results in an abnormally high level of human growth hormone. He showed no indication of an end to his growth even at the time of his death. Wadlow was born in Alton, Illinois in February 22, 1918 to Harold Franklin and Addie Mae Wadlow and was the oldest of five children. He was taller than his father by the age of eight and an elementary 
elementary school, they had to make a special desk for him due to his size. By the time he had graduated from Alton High School in 1936, he was 8 foot 4. After graduating, he enrolled in Shirtlift College with the intention of studying law. Tragically, Wadlow passed away at the age of 22. This is not uncommon for individuals with gigantism, especially before the advent of modern medical technology. Early on, Wadlow's size began to take its toll. He required leg braces to walk and had little feeling in his legs and feet. Despite these difficulties, he never used a wheelchair. But much like Sultan Kosin, Wadlow realized that his height was also a gift and a potential occupation. Wadlow became a celebrity after his 1936 U.S. tour with the Ringling Brothers Circus. He appeared with Ringling Brothers at Madison Square Garden and the Boston Garden in the center ring, never in the sideshow. During his appearances, he was dressed in his normal clothes and refused the circus request to wear a top hat and tails. In 1938, he did a promotional tour with the International Shoe Company. They provided him his shoes free of charge. Examples of the shoes still exist in several locations throughout the U.S., including Snyder Shoe Store of Ludington and Manistee, Michigan, and the Alton Museum of History and Art. He continued participating in tours and public appearances, though only in his normal street clothes. Wadlow rationalized that he was working in advertising, not being exhibited as a freak. He possessed great physical strength until the last year of his life, when his strength and his health in general began to deteriorate rapidly. Wadlow was a member of the Order of Dimolay, the Masonic-sponsored organization for young men. He was also a Freemason. In 1939, he petitioned Franklin Lodge No. 25 in Alton, Illinois, and by late November of that year was raised to the degree of Master Mason under the jurisdiction of the Grand Lodge of Illinois AF and AM. Unsurprisingly, his Freemason ring was the largest ever made. One year before his death, Wadlow passed John Rogan as the tallest person ever. On June 27, 1940, 18 days before his death. He was measured at 8 feet 11 inches by Drs. C.M. Charles and Cyril McBride of Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. On July 4, 1940, during a professional appearance at the Manistee National Forest Festival, a faulty brace irritated his ankle, causing a blister and subsequent infection. Doctors treated him with a blood transfusion and emergency surgery, but his condition worsened due to an autoimmune disorder. And on July 15, 1940, 11 days after contracting the infection, he died in his sleep at the age of 22. His coffin, measured 10 feet 9 inches long by 2 feet 8 Eight inches wide by two feet six inches deep, weighed 1,000 pounds, and was carried by 12 pallbearers and eight assistants. His body was buried at Oakwood Cemetery in Upper Alton, Illinois. Compare this to Zhen Jianlan, the tallest recorded woman in history. She suffered from spine curvature and could not stand at full height. When she finally stretched out her spine, she was measured as the tallest recorded Chinese person and world's tallest person shortly before her death. She is the only woman verified to have reached eight feet tall. Jianlan passed away when she was only 17 years old. She had complications from both diabetes and scoliosis. The sad truth is that this is not uncommon for those who suffer from gigantism. Though they were not the largest in the world, many recognizable actors with gigantism have passed away at tragically young ages. Andre the Giant, the 7'4 wrestler and actor most famous for his role in The Princess Bride, died from heart failure at age 46. Matthew McGrory, the 7'6 actor famous for his role in Big Fish, died from heart failure at age 32. Aside from the deadliness of this disease, it's a huge nuisance to be above a certain height. As you might imagine, the proliferation of big and tall stores in major cities was a huge gift to those who are above average height. Most clothes, shoes, Shoes, cars, and appliances are not likely to fit an individual who is larger than 6 feet and 5 inches tall. In 1911, there were no stores that catered to the needs of the big and tall men, and businesses began to grow to serve the community. The first shop was Frank's in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Larger men from throughout the area would arrive at Frank's shop eager to get their bigger needs addressed. The tailor shop continued through the 1940s. After returning from World War II, Frank's two sons, High and Alex, opened up Frank's Army Supply along with their brother Marty. In 1961, continuing the tradition established by their father Frank, the brothers decided to focus on the clothing needs of the Big and Tall Men, and they opened the first Frank's Big and Tall. Now, Big and Tall stores are relatively common in developed countries, but many developing countries have neither access to oversized clothes or the medical procedures that will cure patients with some form of gigantism. Because of this, it's important to raise awareness and implement this relatively simple surgery in the communities that need it most. As for Sultan Kosin, he is still the largest living human and seems like he's in good health. He has proven to be a good role model for people with gigantism all over the world.